Hello YouTube, Easy Astronomy here, and I don't think it's any secret what my story today is going to be. The Juno probe absolutely blew up anywhere you cared to look, from the front page of YouTube, to Google, to Times Square ads, to the NASA footage for anyone who wasn't busy blowing themselves up with 4th of July fireworks, but I don't think it should be made this big a deal. Let me tell you why. Now don't get me wrong, I love Juno just as much as the next person, and I was really happy when I received the confirmation that the orbital burn had succeeded. But that's not something to celebrate. In fact, part of the hype for this NASA mission is that Juno is going to be inserted into a very, very close orbit with the largest planet in the solar system that also happens to have, by far, the highest amount of radiation within its gravity well. Which is definitely something to be concerned about. In fact, NASA expects all of its instruments to be fried by the end of the mission. So if there's a flaw in that titanium casing, or there's a higher amount of radiation than expected, Juno could run into serious problems very, very quickly. But radiation is just one of the factors that could screw with Juno. And the scariest factor might be the ones that are unknown. For example, look at JAXA's X-ray telescope Hitomi, which one day just didn't respond to a radio signal sent out by mission control. Think about how much meticulous planning goes into making sure every instrument is absolutely perfect, and yet, despite all the preparation and planning that went into that, Hitomi still failed. And so could Juno, so could any probe that's out there currently. And this wouldn't worry me so much if it hasn't actually collected any data yet. So far, I believe that the only actual quantitative data that Juno has taken has been pictures of its orbit coming into Jupiter, now, the original NASA plan said that Juno would begin to collect data as soon as October of this year, but it has been said that scientists have found a way to start collecting data before that. But still, that's a big chunk of time, almost a month, that nothing is getting done and almost anything could go wrong. So, in conclusion, hats off to the NASA people who made it this far and got the orbital calculations done with the Earth flyby to get it to Jupiter. So if they've done great in making it this far, but they still have a ways to go. So I wouldn't celebrate just yet. So I think that's gonna be it. Sorry, uh, my videos usually aren't this dark if you're the first time seeing this. So, uh, but if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know you're not just a nameless, faceless, floating entity out in the void of the internet. And thank you. This has been Easy Astronomy, and here's to dark nights and clear skies.